Hi, I'm Susan Berkeley from GreatVoice.com with another edition of the Inside VoiceOver video newsletter. And today we're going to talk about an important part of your voiceover marketing, and that's your website. And I think a lot of people get very confused, get bogged down. They get into gritger, as I call it, and that stands for getting ready to get ready, which means they get stuck when it comes to their website. So let's start off by talking about exactly what your website is for. You're not going to get found, okay? I mean, someone isn't going to like like type in voiceovers and find your site. There's just too much competition out there. You could buy AdWords, but I got to tell you, you couldn't afford it to get the number one position in voiceover. So the way you should think of your website as more of a, a brochure, someplace to take a prospect or a client when you get them on the phone, because a lot of people don't want you to actually email them your demo. They prefer to go to a site, get a link to a site. So the site should look professional, but you don't have to go crazy. You don't need to spend spend a lot of money. The most important part of your website is in the upper right hand corner. And in that upper right hand corner, you need your demo. And I suggest that the best, best way to post your demo is on something called SoundCloud. Now it's a free account that you can get. You just tell your webmaster and you stick that uh, demo up there. And if you have multiple demos, you can stack them one beneath the other. Uh, the great thing about SoundCloud is that the demos load instantly and they can also be downloaded. Also put in that upper right hand corner your phone number and your email address. The other thing that you should have on your website should be testimonials. Now I know that you're just starting out so you can ask friends or even your coach or your teacher to write that testimonial for you. We always do that for our students. And make sure you don't have cutesy phrases. This is another thing that I see people doing. They they put call themselves the voice choice. You're going to want to make sure you take out your name as your URL. Now, I own SusanBerkeley.com, and so you want to try to get your name. And if your name is popular or somebody else has that, you can say the voice of your name or your name voices. But you should own your name or something pretty close to it. Uh, make sure the color of your website, the, the font, the color, the design goes along with your vocal style. So here's an example of what you don't want to do. Uh, I know a, a woman who's a talent. She's a character voice actor. She's really, really good. And when she started to work with me, her website was brown. Can you imagine? It was the most dull, boring website. And after we worked together, I had to redo it to give lively, fun colors that went along with being a character voice talent. So I hope you get the idea. The other thing question people have all the time about their voiceover websites is photos. Should you actually put your picture on your website? Now the jury's out in that one. I tend to think you shouldn't. Now I'm, I'm a known person. I'm all over the internet. So I have my picture on mine. But if that's not you, I think it's fine not to have your picture on there. Some people put a caricature. So those are some tips for you for your voiceover website. I hope it helps. I'm Susan Berkeley. I'll be back next week week for more Inside VoiceOver.